Let's talk about MSG and Tianqi. No, there's no MSG in Tianqi. In case you're a little bit confused or don't remember what MSG actually is, it's a chemical called monosodium glutamate. It's a flavor enhancer. There's no other reason ever to use MSG other than to enhance a flavor. So generally, if it's used in a food or a drink, any type of product that you might consume, it's in there because it'll make it a very inferior product taste really good. It's a real easy way to make something taste good without putting the effort into it to have better ingredients and to maybe use better flavors. And so MSG was a godsend for the junk food industry because you can make, again, anything taste good with MSG. So I wanna talk about it today though because a lot of people have actually forgotten what MSG is and they don't know that it's monosodium glutamate. In fact, I've had a couple people ask me and what happened in the industry was that the word MSG, the initials, got so popular and out in the news that they changed their labels and just started writing monosodium glutamate and people didn't know it was the same thing, but it is. And the reason I wanna talk about it today and again, re remind you, there's no MSG in Tianqi. But MSG is a neurotoxin. In fact, it's classified as an excitotoxin, meaning that it excites the neurons in your brain to fire so rapidly that they'll fall over dead within minutes and then create an inflammation that spreads throughout your brain. This is the problem with MSG and it creates something called glutamate neurotoxicity, which is a state of energy of excess glutamate, which spreads inflammation throughout your brain and damages it. Now, when you, you're a young person and you're eating MSG and you might get a dull headache or a feeling from it, you don't really notice anything for decades because you have billions and billions of neurons, but after a while, with all the things we have in our diet and all the things in the environment, and the amount of stress and all these lack of nutrition, everything kind of piles together. And sooner or later, you'll be missing those neurons. And what they say is that you'll get to a point where it's almost like falling off a cliff and it's hard to get, really hard to get back up, right? So you want to avoid MSG. Well, there's a couple of things that you can do. And this points out an interesting um, fact about the natural health industry is that, and about your health in general, and that is, is that it's what you do preventatively that protects you from things on every different level of your health, including things like MSG. You know, MSG creates glutamate neurotoxicity, but there's actually nutrients that prevent that or offset it. I have a couple of them in Tianqi. It's the B12, the special form called methylcobalamin, which is in a form that your body doesn't need to break down or transform into something usable. It's taken up by your nervous system, the neurons in your brain and the nerves all over your body, your spinal cord, immediately, and it's used. The other ingredient that I have that's really a great neuroprotective is green tea. I use a special type of green tea that's fat-soluble so that you soak up more of it and it stays active in your bloodstream for a much longer period of time. This is really important when it comes to plant-based antioxidants because a lot of them clear out of your system within an hour to an hour and a half. With this green tea that I use, which is bound up with sunflower lecithin, it actually stays active for up to eight hours in your system. So these are two things that protect you from neurotoxicity from excessive glutamate or exposure to MSG. Now, one of the other interesting things about B12 is that it actually helps with the regeneration of your nerves. And this is really important because a lot of people, because of digestive issues, because of age, poor diet, just don't get enough of the active form of B12, methylcobalamin. Well, methylcobalamin is integral to building the myelin sheath around your nerves. That's a fatty coating on your nerves that's responsible for sending and receiving signals, you know, neurotransmitters in your brain. Uh, it's also the part of your nerves that are 
damaged the most by inflammation, the type of inflammation you might get from MSG and other things that make it up into your brain. So it's really important to have things in your diet that actually help you to maintain your myelin sheath and to actually regenerate it. Another thing that actually helps you with that, that I just happen to have in, in Tianqi also, is choline. You have to have a good source of choline to combine with the other vitamins you need to make that myelin sheath. And you just can't overstate the importance of having those things in your system every day to actually protect that. If you think of other illnesses, and this is a good way, a good example of, of trying to match up how this makes a difference or it's important in other things, you might know somebody that has MS. And MS is what? It's an attack of your immune system on your own nerves, the neurons in your brain that break down the myelin sheath. So obviously it would make sense that if you had a diet or nutrients in your system that actually helped you regenerate that and protect it, then you're probably going to slow down or maybe even put it into a big pause. Maybe it'll even go into remission somehow, the damage to your brain from things like MS. And if you think that's impossible, there's actually research and books out written by medical doctors who have reversed their MS, gotten out of wheelchairs, and actually run 10K races. Why? because it was based on the right type of B vitamins and nutrients needed to protect their myelin sheath. So all these things are really an example of how you have the power to basically put things in your body. It's your choice that actually help you to thrive and protect you from those things that you might run into once in a while, like some MSG thrown in your food at a restaurant or something hidden in a package of food that you bought that you didn't know was there that actually has a negative effect on your brain. This is what health is really about, finding the things that help you to thrive and to help you survive.